And then I remembered I had a green book, so I thought, could this be one of the murderous variety? <laughs> This is Katie with Vintage and Vinyl back with another great video for you today. And in this video, we are talking something murderous. It all starts with a little bit of green and a pair of white gloves. Now, you guys are probably wondering, what in the world are you wearing white dish gloves for when you don't have anything to clean? Well, I have a point to this. So, a few weeks ago, I was scrolling on Instagram and I discovered a gentleman's reel talking about his antique bookshop. And he mentioned that some of the books he deals with actually can kill you. And I was totally fascinated by this. So, I started doing research online and I found that, yes, there are books that actually contain arsenic in their covers. And then I remembered I had a green book. So I thought, could this be one of the murderous variety? Well, it turns out I think it might be. So to be extra safe, I am wearing my gloves when handling it. This is a beautiful antique book I inherited from 1865. It is the Ladies' Names and Flora Language. And this belonged to my great-grandfather's cousin, Evelyn Nunley. And you can see the copyright date in the bottom, 1865. And there's a wonderful inscription that belongs to our family and it's got some beautiful poems and information from all the different names it's one of those name books and the illustrations and the way they've done the graphics in this are absolutely gorgeous now this has been sitting on my coffee table for probably close to two years now and I had no idea that this book could be dangerous so I'm going to tell you all about these books that can kill right now our story begins with a seemingly innocent book with a beautiful emerald green color found at the University of Denmark's library. Researchers there were trying to read fragments of an ancient medieval text that was hidden beneath the layers of their 16th and 17th century books. It has been well documented that fragments of much older books were used in book bindings during the Victorian times. These fragments were considered useless then, but now they contain an important look into the past, revealing lost and rare texts. While using a machine called a micro XRF that analyzes chemical elements of old paintings, pottery, and books, the research team discovered that their books had high amounts of arsenic. These books had a thick layer of green paint containing a substance called Paris or emerald green. This substance was used as a paint and a poison. You see, many book bindings, paints, wallpapers, fabrics, and crops were laced with this poisonous green green pigment in the Victorian era. It was a very common practice and many people just didn't realize its dangers outside of swallowing it. This was not the makings of an Agatha Christie novel, unless it was used to kill off your rich elderly aunt for money. Arsenic did gain the reputation as the inheritance powder. There were tons of documented stories of children and women alike suffering a long, unexplained illness while being sent to recover in their bedrooms. The wallpaper in their very rooms were slowly killing them because the arsenic was releasing its toxic gas particularly in cold and damp homes. This is why, much later, people believed that drier climates were much healthier. The purpose of this green pigment in books is debated slightly, but it's most likely used to kill pests that would eat the books, or maybe as a color variant. Then, even Paris green was used in the subways in Paris to kill rats and as a pesticide to kill worms on apples. Other research teams and libraries have discovered the Paris Green in their books, too. MSU and the University of Michigan have the only two remaining copies of a rare book written in 1874 by Dr. Robert M. Kenzie, a Union soldier during the Civil War and a professor of chemistry at Michigan State University. He set out to show the dangers of this poison and wrote only a hundred copies of a book called Shadows of the Wall of Death. In this book, he includes under a hundred samples of dangerous wallpapers and writes this message. It can kill not only by a sudden violent destruction of life, but by a slow chronic poisoning, a mysterious and lingering illness that might baffle the sufferer and physician alike. It is an air loaded with the breath of death. 
All of the copies but two were destroyed for fear of killing library patrons. The research on these poisonous books continues on with the Poison Book Project, a project spearheaded by Dr. Melissa Tadone and Dr. Rosie Gayburn. They have researched over 250 books, finding through extensive testing at the University of Delaware Soil Lab that if these books were ingested, they could kill you seven times over. Their goals with this project are to research bookbinding methods and to educate collectors on the dangers of these books and to teach people the proper handling techniques. These books can kill, but they still have a lot to teach us. Just don't eat them or lick your fingers while turning their pages. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about these poison books. Now if you suspect that you have a book filled with arsenic, don't be scared and throw it away. Just know that there's a couple of precautions you can take to be extra safe around it. The first thing you want to do is always wear gloves when handling the book just so that you don't get any of that skin-to-skin -skin contact with the arsenic. The other thing that you can do is cover the book in some sort of a zip-top bag. That way none of the particles from the book cover itself as it ages gets into the air. You really don't want to be breathing in that arsenic. Now the third thing you can do is keep it away from pets and children and that's simply because you don't want to be eating the book and of course pets and children are known to nibble on things they're not supposed to. Of course when reading the book don't lick your fingers as you're turning the pages that way you're being extra safe there. Of course you can always go to the Poison Book Project if you want to learn more about this. I found their website totally fascinating. I'm not sponsored by them. I just really do love their project and the research they've done on this. You can actually order a bookmark from them that contains different color swatches that showcases the different colors of green that potentially could have arsenic as far as the book covers goes. They've done a lot of research on this and I think that's a great little tool to order from them. It's free so you can just send them their address and they will send you one. So that's it for this video guys. Of course before my next video I'll be seeing you over on Instagram at vintage underscore and underscore vinyl and I hope as always that you will stay in, stay safe, and binge YouTube and have a happy Halloween. Bye bye now. What?